Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. That's not the only way out. Dribbling the basketball is not the way out. Right. Having six, seven different baby mamas and baby daddies ain't the way out. Right. Some sisters, they know that you can get a check from every man that they sleep with if they have a child with them, right? By taking him to child support court. They're seeking deep to hide their counsel to keep us in a lower state. If all our examples are to be ignorant, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do ignorant things. the Lord. They want to do it the easy way. We didn't get into this condition easily. It was hard for us to just turn our back on the Lord. The Lord held us to a standard and a lot of us said, eh, I do it my way. You find it? Listen, from 1980, I was born in the 80s. I was born in 81. And so 40 years later, today, how great or how deplorable has our community relations with each other has been? Has it improved or has it decreased? In 40 years, bro. In 40 years. In 40 years, us being away from this Bible has saw our community relations plummet. Racism ain't went nowhere. Our self-hatred ain't went nowhere. All that stuff is there. What we're here to do is to pull out that in your mind and say, why is everything so destroyed? Why are we so destroyed? You know why we so destroyed? We don't have a moral compass. We don't have understanding and we hate each other. Give me Deuteronomy. I can't hear you, bro. Say it again. Say it again. We're not. We're not. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Give me the order of God real quick. I want to give I want, I want the order of God. And then I want you to also hold Isaiah 29 and 16. So hold Isaiah. But first give me the order in 2 Corinthians. Or 1 Corinthians 11. Give me that. Because I want you, I want to I want to see. You love God, right? You want change, right? You got any children? You got any people that's younger than you that look up to you? Maybe when you were younger, you had anybody that looked up to you? Are they still living? Oh. You from out here? You, you from outside? Been here all your life? Okay. Now listen, this is gonna be a test to see whether you really, really about being different or you just love to hear, all right? A lot of our people love to hear, but they won't do anything to change. But I want to bring some laws out to you, and it's going to see if you actually about it or not. And if you're not, laws will be continue to build with you, and then the Lord put the Spirit on you. Hey, everybody, listen up. Listen up real quick. We establish it. We reestablish your order in our communities. But first, it starts with the men, right? It starts with me. It starts with you. Once we get our act together, we can then get our women in order. After we get our women in order, we get our children in order. We can't expect anybody to get in order until we ourselves get in order, right. all right? And that's what you see out here. You see men out here, right? These are men. These men have gotten themselves to a point where they can endure, where they can constantly go to the Lord when they feeling low. Because you, you ain't always up here. You ain't always motivated, but you disciplined to continue to keep the laws. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to show you what discipline looks like, okay? Read. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. But... I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. So who's the head of Christ? God. Who's the head of man? Let's see who's the head of man. Read. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Christ Jesus is our head, right? Read. And the head of the woman is the man. Who is the woman's head? So who's the leader of the woman? 
the men read. And the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Give me that a revelation. Did you hear what that just said? Read it again, the last part. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. What does that mean? That means when a man is praying or in the spirit of prophecy, right? When we're going over the scriptures, either there be a man reading the prophecies or there be a man listening to the prophecies. Because when we read or when we communicate, what do we do in the communication? What's the, what's the basic concept of communicating? A person listening and then another person talking. And then we switch back and forth. I be quiet and then you talk. That's communicating, right? It's resonating in our brain. We thinking about what's being said and we register what's being said and we speak upon it, right? That's being in the spirit of a conversation. Right now we've been in the spirit of prophecy. Let me show you how, read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. You hear that? The testimony of Jesus, what we're reading from Genesis to Revelation. Christ said, I come in the volume of the book. So this book is about him. It was written of him. How he is going to raise you and me up in these final days. We are in the spirit of prophecy. Everything that's happening now, if you can look at this, that was prophesied to happen. So we're talking about things that was prophesied. We're right now in the spirit of prophecy. So while we in the spirit of prophecy, go back to Corinthians. This is what a man should do when we in the spirit of prophecy. Read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. But I'll have you to know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Look at our heads. Is that is our heads covered? What about your head? Is your head covered? So what, what, what does this mean? Read that last part. Every man praying or prophesying. In the spirit of prophecy, because Jesus Christ is what we're speaking on. We in the spirit of prophecy right now, right? Read. Having his head covered. His head not covered. He in the spirit of prophecy right now. And he read, he listening. He in the spirit of prophecy right now. I'm speaking, right? My head not covered. You listening, just like he listening. He not talking. Is he talking? You are. And you listening. And your head is covered. So a man who has his head covered should do this. Every man having his head covered, praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. You disrespecting the Lord. Bring because your head. head is covered. That's a sign of respect. That's a sign of understanding. That's a sign of knowing. Remember, when we go into these courtrooms here in America, what do we do? Take our hat off. And if we just sit there with our hat on, that's what they're going to do. They're going to walk up to you and be like, remove your hat, sir. Where did that understanding come from? I told you, this land is nothing without the laws of God. And if you're a man of understanding, guess what you're going to do? You're going to take your hat off. You still got your head on though? Okay, there you go. There you go. That's a repentant soul right there. All praise. It's all praise to the most high. Now, give me Isaiah 29. And it's crazy. What's crazy is they took everything from us and then they turned it upside down. Bring it out. They said that our heavenly father and his son is a white man. You ever heard that before? But you can't prove that in the Bible. Let's listen to what God said. Uh, 16. Read 29, 16. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Let's go to 15. Verse 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. The Lord said woe or destruction to them that seek to go what? Read it again. Woe unto them that seek deep 
to hide their counsel from the Lord. There's been counsel to destroy us, to take our name. What's our, what's our name? What's our nationality? What is your nationality? It ain't black. It ain't African-American. It ain't Negro. What is it? You know somebody did, dug deep to hide who you are? That's right. You, you've been hidden. You've been obscured from history. Who are you? Who are your forefathers? Where do you come from? These are different questions that we have to ask right. ourselves. We've never asked these things. We always accepted what was told to us, what was given to us. We was told we African-American in the 80s. Bring it out. I'm older than my nationality. Bring it out. I can't be old. That's like, that's like that movie, Don't Be a Menace to South Central, I Drink Your Juice in the Hood. A son's older than his father. Bring it out. Bring what it type out. of sense do that make? Bring it out. You can't be older than your father. You can't be described. Your, your race can't be younger than you. Or your race, you know what I'm saying? You can't be a part of a race that was born after you was born. You, were, you existed before that race. So where are you? Where are you from? Where do you come from? Keep, keep that. Because remember, we're going over the fact that who we are was obscured. Who we are has been hit. Look at this sign right here. Where do you find yourself on that sign? Listen up, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. We going over the world being turned upside down. We going over our nationality, our history being hidden. And as a man who has destruction coming to him for doing that. So, who hid another man's identity? Who took counsel and said, we gonna steal this land and we're going to act like we found it. Bring it out! It was men already over here. Right. Our brothers and sisters was already over here. Right. And what they did was they mowed them off. They created a new weapon to mow them off the land. It's called a Gatling gun. Bring it out! They killed so many Native, so-called Native American Indians and built right on top of their bones. That's right. They hid. They, they seeking deep to hide their counsel, right? So I want you to think who you are, who hid your identity, Right? And listen to the scripture. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 15. Read. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. Another one of their counsels is to make them continue to think that they're nothing. We took their identity from them, which is Israel. They, we took their identity from them and we gave them nigger. Right? And to make them continue to think they nigger, we give certain niggers a million dollar contract Bring to rap. We get certain niggas a $36 million contract to play ball, to dribble a ball. We get certain niggas $5 billion so that he can continue rubbing in their face. And this nigga, this top nigga that got $6 billion used to be a drug dealer who used to tear down the community. So what that tell a, a young man in the community? Okay, ain't, no many, ain't that many options. I see this $6 billion, six, this six billion heir. I see he made it. The way he made it was standing on the corner selling drugs. That's the ticket. That's the way. That's counsel to keep you constantly thinking that's the only way out. That's not the only way out. Dribbling a basketball is not the way out. Having six, seven different baby mamas and baby daddies ain't the way out. Some sisters, they know that you can get a check from every man that they sleep with if they have a child with them, right? By taking him to child support court. I've seen a video where a sister counted out by eight or nine different baby daddies she had, and she getting a check from each and every one of them. And she said, it's more profitable to get it's nine baby daddies than to have nine kids by one man, because that one man can't pay that much money. They're seeking deep to hide their counsel to keep us in a lower state. If all our examples are to be ignorant, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna do ignorant things. If all our options to overcome our sadness is to take drugs, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take drugs. We're going to drink alcohol. We're never going to open our mouth and talk and show each other what's going on with each other. Because maybe we're ashamed. Because we see on TV and on the internet, people living lavish lives. And we want to attain to that same thing, but we know we can't reach that. So we had it behind drugs. We had it behind secrecy. There's a council to make you see only one side. But the Lord said, this is the way out. What is a nation? Nation is family. This 
nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 